Hey, China Spring Elementary. It's Miss Edwards here, your favorite music teacher. I sure am missing you guys. But what I thought I'd do today is I would take you into my kitchen and see what can we find in the kitchen to make music. We've talked about that a lot. We've talked about it in school, in our classroom, and I've brought some things from home before to show you. One of my very favorite things that makes music in the kitchen is a cake pan, but it's a special cake pan. Remember, we've talked about the bunt pan and how cool it sounds whenever you play it with a mallet. Well, we're not at school and I don't have a mallet, so I'm just gonna use a ladle, which is also in my kitchen. But listen to the beautiful sound it makes. Many other things in our kitchens can make music. You just have to look around and see what you can find. Of course, always ask your parents for permission. Don't go into your parents' kitchen drawers without asking. There might be some things in there that are not quite safe for small hands. You don't wanna get hurt. So be sure and ask permission first, but ask your parents if you can look and see what you can find in the kitchen to make music. I wanna show you a few examples today. You know, when we think about the percussion instruments that we use in our music class, we always group them into four groups. We have the woods, we have the metals, we have the shakers, and the skins, or the drums. So I thought I'd show you a few things I found in my kitchen that would fit into those four categories. You might have some of this at your house too. First of all, the woods. Mm -hmm. Now this is the group that I had the hardest time finding because I just didn't have a lot of wood things in my kitchen. But I do have lots of wooden spoons. So you can take two wooden spoons and you can make some beautiful rhythms with your wooden spoons. I also found some really unique looking wooden tongs and I took my wooden cutting board and it makes an unusual sound too when I tap it together. That makes some really nice music. So there's lots of different ways that you can use the woods in the kitchen to make music. I also found the metals. Now the metals is probably one of my favorite groups of percussion instruments. And in the kitchen, there's a lot of things that are metals. We already looked at the bunt cake pan that we just used a moment ago, but what about a bread loaf pan? Or I like to make my banana nut bread in this pan. I took a really fun little silicone tool from my drawer and when I tap on it, a nice unusual sound too. You can also use a whisk and the whisk can be used with one of the the cooling racks maybe that your mom or your dad has when they're baking cookies and they take them out they have to put them on a wire rack so they can cool. You can take your wire rack you can take a whisk and watch what happens. Another really fun way to make music with some metals in the kitchen is a grater. Your, your parents probably use this maybe to grate cheese or to grate chocolate or other things like that. And I took a pair of metal tongs that were in my drawer and when I rub the grater or tap the grater, it can make a really nice sound. Or I can tap it. I'm sure you can find in your kitchen a pot or a pan that you cook with and you could use any kind of tool that you'd wish to tap on that pan to make some music. This is a pastry tool that I'm using. Now another 
really fun group of sounds we can find in the kitchen are the shakers. Now, I didn't really have a lot of dried beans or peas or things like that, but you might have some in your pantry. But you might ask your mom, maybe you've got some rice or maybe you have some popcorn kernels. You could use those and you could create a shaker. Some of you might already be thinking ahead to hiding Easter eggs. So if you have any of those plastic Easter eggs at home, you could put some popcorn kernels or some dried peas or beans or rice inside those eggs and you could tape them closed and you've got your own maraca. Isn't that the coolest thing? Here's a few things I found in my pantry um, that could be in the shaker group. I have some peanuts that I'm going to use to make some peanut brittle. I also had a box of pasta. And of course, a box of rice and I put it in a bag so I wouldn't spill the rice. That's a shaker, isn't it? And we also have maybe some nuts that maybe you have in your jars in your pantry. Or my daughter's favorite, some granola she loves to eat in her yogurt. All of these make that wonderful shaker sound. Finally, the last group of percussion sounds that we can find in the kitchen are the skins. We love to play the skins or the drums. And so when I think about things that might be a drum in my kitchen, oh, you might have some of these. Maybe a chip container. Or maybe you have a plastic bowl and you could use any kind of kitchen tool to tap it just like you would with a mallet. You might find in your kitchen or pantry some cheese balls. These are some of our favorite snacks at our house. But boy, does this container make a nice skins percussion sound. I also have some other containers that we store things in our pantry and they would make a nice hand drum. Or any other types of bowls. If you notice when you are looking at your bowls in your kitchen, remember the bigger the, the tool, the lower the sound, the smaller the instrument, the higher the sound. So if you have a really small bowl, like this one, it would make a higher tone than maybe a bowl that is much larger. You can hear the difference between those two. So remember the size matters, so be creative. Ask your parents for permission and go into your kitchen and see what kind of tools you can find that will make some beautiful music. I'll be right back with a special song to share it with you with some of our tools from the kitchen. Hey, China Spring Elementary, we're back. And I have some help with me now to sing. We're gonna teach you a song where you can use all of those things that we talked about in the kitchen to make some music. Now, you may not have a ukulele at your house, but I do. It belongs to my daughter, Abby. And so we're gonna use it just to help us sing the song a little bit today. But you don't need a ukulele. You can use all these things from your kitchen. So give it a try with us. This song is called Will Be. Thank you. 
meant to make a song. Elementary, I miss you.